Hello, good evening, Heidi. Good evening. Can you listen to me? How is it going? Ready for today's session? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. I have a, the problem. My computer is not click. You oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, but you are connected and you are the only one. So welcome, thank you so much for being connected on time. It's eight already and we need to start our class, okay? So hey, teacher. how was your weekend? Fine teacher. That was a very long weekend. <laughs> Cause, yes. Um, nice, because we don't have classes on Friday, nor do we have classes on Saturday and Sunday until today. And what about the um, platform? Have you been working on that? No, teacher, no, not yet. And mm. the the after the class, the word in the platform. Okay, after the class. Okay, yes, nice. Yes. Make sure to complete the exercises so you don't accumulate your work because remember that by the end of the week, things are for always checked, you know, if you have completed. The assignment. Yes, teacher. I see the the terminal section section one and two. The tomorrow. Mm -hmm. the, okay. The limit. Right. Exactly. So tomorrow we are going to finish our first week, right? Which basically includes the two. Um, I think it's the two sessions. Yeah, two two sections. And well, today we're going to study a new topic. And also we are going to review if necessary. So welcome guys. I see that are other people connected. Uh, welcome Breeze, welcome Jorge, Rina, and, and Nuvia, Raquel Diaz, okay? So how was your weekend? Tell me, what did you do? Did you go out? Did you stay home? Did you go to the beach? <laughs> what did you do? Open your mic. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm stay at home. You stay home, okay. Hey, something. Hello, guys, can you see me? <laughs> Hello. Hello guys, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. I think something is wrong with my connectivity. Give me a second, please. One second. Hello, can you guys listen to me? Yes, teacher. All right, I apologize. Yes. I apologize. There, there was something wrong. There was just a glitch on my connection. Mm -hmm. But then I think I'm back. So thank you so much. Somebody was about to speak when I disconnected. Nope. Okay, so welcome guys then. It's our session number three. And I really hope you, you enjoyed your weekend. Today we're gonna start a new topic and we are going to reinforce what we practiced on the previous week, okay? So I can see we are connected. Let's see, this is like eight students plus myself, all right? So let me start sharing the screen. Uh, this is session number three. 
And I don't know if you guys have already completed all the exercises that we have on the platform. If you haven't done that yet, I suggest you to start doing it so you don't accumulate you know, your work by the end of the week. Tomorrow we finish week number one, which basically is telling us that we have to finish section one and section two, okay? So uh, today we're gonna have a reading, okay? I don't know if you already have the chance to read about uh, museums. By the way, do you like museums? Have you ever been to any museums in, like in this country or in a different country? Let's see, Gerardo, have you? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was at uh, Columbia Gold Museum and the Anthropolitan, Anthropolitan Mexican Museum. Museum. Interesting. Actually, one of those is included on this reading. I'm glad. I never been to those places, but I'm glad you've been there. And how was the experience, by the way? Uh, uh, when uh, when I was in Mexico. This museum is very, very, very big. The section of anthropology is uh, a lot of, of uh, stuff. Uh, it's, it's very nice, very nice. And the Columbia Gold Museum is very fascinating because the, the all articles uh, exhibit in this side, everything is gold. Everything is gold. Very strange. Teacher, no listening. I don't know what's going on with, with my uh, device today. I think it's me. Well, um, did you take pictures, uh, Gerardo? Or is that allowed to um, take pictures when you are in there? Excuse me? Did you, did you take pictures? Did you? No, yes. Uh, yes, you yes. did? Yes. Oh, man. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So thank you so much for sharing your experience. Is there anybody else who have been to any museum and, and you would like to share the experience there? Any other museum, maybe here in the country? Only, yeah. only the picture, teacher. <laughs> only picture. Okay. Yeah, what the a... movie, Anai, Anai Museum. Oh, I, I was at that place. Yeah, Anai at the museum. Yeah, yeah I remember. It, I visited that place. It, it's, uh -huh, it was on. very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But it, it's, it's a movie, but the place is very, very good. Very good. Bill, Bill, um, what uh -huh. interesting, interesting, uh, the different kind of uh, etapas the light. Mm -hmm. Like maybe uh, see some stages of life. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, only, only, only that picture. Nice, ah, you just reminded me about that. Yeah, the, that museum in the United States is really cool. Okay, and is there anybody else who have been to any other museum that you want to share? Hi, teacher. I'm sorry if I'm late. No problem, Blanca. Okay, since you just arrived, tell us, have you ever been to any museum in here in the country or any other country? Museum? Mm -hmm. I remember the Museum Anthropoly Anthropo. How do you say anthropological? And answer, oh, we have one anthropologist, right? Anthropologist? Or anthropologist. From Mexico? Oh, okay. You've been there? Yes. Tell us it's, experience. Yes, it's very interesting because uh, the spouse poses for different uh, epochs. How do you say epochs? Maybe uh, epochs is epoch, but in this case, epoch? I think maybe yeah, maybe it's stages or scenarios or scenes depends. Yes, the the revolution, the post revolution, and and mm -hmm. uh, yes, ah, and the actually too, 
and the um, for culture mm -hmm. and different um, um, graphics for the Mexican, the old and the now. I can see. So basically the history, yes. right? So great. I, I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear you guys have this experience. Yeah, okay. And have you guys read this um, picture I'm showing you, this image? This is a guide to a mu unusual museum. Have you read this one on the platform? Yes. Okay, interesting, great. Because I want to go over this reading, but I want you to help me to read it, okay? So maybe uh, I need, let's see, we are 14. So I'm going to choose some of you, but let's do it this way. If you cannot see it because of, um, I don't know, the resolution is, that, is not that good, let me know. But let's do it this way. I want you to start reading and at any time you want to stop and say a name of any other classmate that is connected, he or she must continue, okay? So maybe Miguel Ramirez wants to start and then you stop at any point and I want the other person to retake and keep reading, okay? So please be attentive. So we can start, uh, Miguel. Okay, I uh, read. Uh, a guide to Unisal Museum. Look at the picture and scan the article. Where do you think you can see very old objects? A uh, working factory, history cooking tools. <coughs> One, do you like museums? Have to Louvre in Paris, the Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City, or an of this order, Museums. Well, not it's time to go off the beaten path. The Kimchi Museum, Seoul, Korea. If you don't know about Kimchi, a trip to the Kimchi Museum is an eye-opening experience. The museum was founded in uh, 19... 86 to Hitler, Korea rich kimchi culture. culture. The, the exhibit include displays of cooking utensils and materials related to make, storing and eating the famous picket vegetables. The museum has provided details about the history and nutritional benefits of Korea. Must beloved see this final stop be souvenir shop to try various types of kimchi. The Museum of Gold, Bogota, Colombia. You can mention somebody else's name so we can keep reading, please. Excuse me? Can you say anybody, like mention another of your classmates so they, he or she can keep reading? Okay. Uh -huh. Just one, please. Mm -hmm. uh, choose one of your classmates to keep reading. Any name from the one you see connected, choose only one. Choose one, we have, uh, I don't know, many people here connected. Choose one. Okay, go ahead, please. Thank you so much. Okay, the Museum of Go Bogota, Colombia. If you want to see beautiful objects, the Museum of Gold in the place, it holds one of South America's most stunning collection. Because the exhibit sparkles so brightly, you can actually take photographs without using a flash on your camera. Not everything is made of gold. Throw among the exhibit are ancient, pre-Columbian items. Many of them are made for a mix, mixture of gold and Cooper, I don't know you in this section. Yeah, yeah, okay, Cooper. So choose the next one, please. Okay. <clears throat> Continue reading. Uh, or choose somebody else. Okay, uh, another. Please. Uh, the Chocolate Museum, Cologne, Germany. 
the chocolate museum which teach you everything about chocolate for cocoa beans to candy bars. You learn about chocolate 3,000 years history and discover who it was once used a money in South America. And real chocolate factory showed you how chocolate is made. After you finish the tour, you can send and complimentary drinks of fresh gooey pure chocolate prefer for those with a sweet tooth thank you so much i want to do two things with this reading guys number one i want to go over some vocabulary in here number two i want you to help me identify where is the passive voice used in these readings okay so let's start with pronunciation uh, let's see, let me, uh, give me a second, here we go. Okay, take a look at this word, the one that where I, I'm using the, the spotlight here, the, the, the mm -hmm. highlighter. This is highlight, mm -hmm. highlight, highlight. It means when you want to highlight something, it's because this is really important, right? Highlight. And then the word, this one is culture, culture, culture. culture. It's like, it's like a ch sound, culture. Culture, culture, culture. culture. Uh, utensils. Let's see what else I heard mispronounced. No, then everything was okay. Did you hear any other words that you want mm. to say? Hey, teacher, what about this one? Uh, is it pronounced like this or is? Let's... After famous. After famous, mm. where is it? Right there, right there. Right here. Right. Famous pickle. Oh, pickle. The pickles, pickle. like pickles, the pickles is just, um, in here we have like encurtidos, you know, the pickles mm -hmm. made of uh, vegetables. And then see, what about here? Let me see which one I heard incorrectly. Sparkle brightly, this is okay. Uh, no, I think this is fine. Uh, the copper, which is the, it's a, it's a material. And then, oh, this is perfectly, I think. Did you hear any anyone that you want to double check here? Stunning collections. I think it's fine. And this one, uh, the chocolate. Chocolate only has two syllables. Chocolate, chocolate. I hear people chocolate. saying chocolate. I, I, I hear people chocolate. saying chocolate, but then if you listen to an American saying chocolate, they said only two syllables. Chocolate. That's why I, I always suggest saying chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, two syllables. Chocolate. Chocolate. chocolate, chocolate, and then what else? Oh, chocolate. this one, this one is a uh, cocoa, like uh, oh. cocoa, cocoa bean, cocoa, cocoa, cocoa. 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 We don't mm. pronounce the letter A at the end. It's, a, it's a, only cocoa, cocoa bean, and then two cocoa. candy bars. Mm. What else was gonna say here? Let's see. I think it's perfectly fine. Oh, complimentary. Complimentary. This is, is complimentary. Com compliment and then complimentary. Complimentary. When, when you give a compliment, it's something nice. But in this scenario, it means something different. Okay. We're going to go over the meaning in a minute. Okay. But before we go into the meanings, I want you to please help me identify at least one or two sentences where the passive voice has been used, okay? So I give you two minutes. Maybe you want to open your mic and say, hey, this is the passive voice. I just found it here. Or maybe you wanna use the chat and send me your sentences on the chat, please. Two minutes, go ahead, please. Passive voice. But... Teacher, good, good mm -hmm. evening. Mm -hmm. uh, how many go A come and have pronunciation? How many? Which one did you say? I'm sorry. Go A, go A, go A. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where is it? I think uh, there is one. The gooey, number gooey. three, number three, number three. Mm -hmm. I think it's gooey. Let me find that word. Yeah, find I it. remember. Where is it? Don't find it here. Let me see where. Number it? three, teacher. Yeah, number three, three right? <laughs> the chocolate, the chocolate teacher, teacher, oh. and the, the four. number four, <laughs> the chocolate museum. Yeah, it's number four. 
Yeah. Our finally gooey. teacher. Oh, gooey. Gooey. It's something, something really soft. Something really soft right? or sticky in a way. Okay. So that's gooey, pure chocolate. Good. Uh, we're going to go over meaning uh, in a minute. Okay. Now I want you to please help me identify the passive voice. Come on, guys. Go ahead. Give me one or two sentences that you have found here. Passive voice. Is there any or there isn't any sentence? Thank you, teacher. All right. So is there any passive voice here or no passive voice? Present or past? either in two teacher in number two if you don't know about kimchi is passive voice you don't know about kimchi no that is active voice do you remember passive voice how we make the passive voice yes <laughs> Chris, I like it. You found one. Three, not everything is made of gold. Is made is the passive voice. Nice. Is made is passive voice because it follows the verb to be plus past participle. Good. Round of applause for you. But great. What else? What others do you, do you find here? Passive voice. Present or past? Or only uh, the museum was founded in one in 90, 1986. Awesome. Right. There we go. The museum was founded. This is passive voice. Exactly. Because it was plus past participle. Good. You see? Now we're talking. Great. That's passive voice in the past. Is there any other? We have found two. There are others, I can tell. Teacher, how how it was once used as money in South America? It's exactly. That's another one. How it was once used as money in South America. Exactly. As you can see, we have was used this is the construction awesome okay so basically guys we can if we keep reading we might find on like other um construction using the passive teacher, voice teacher, yes, go ahead track it, teacher in english track it, track it. Wait, where is it which which one let me see track it. where is it uh, number four, um, number money, four. Uh, just uh, money in South Africa. Money. And it, it, it was, it was uh, one use as money in South America. Hey, Drake. As money is what? Well, Drake, como en, en as, um, as um, intercambio. Ah, in never heard. Like, like uh, exchange. Exchange. Okay, I didn't know that one. Send that word to the chat. I want to see it, please. It's the spelling, the, the one you're saying. You said that it means exchange, right? Exchange. Okay, send it, please. I want to see it. I will appreciate it. Uh, so look at this one. We have um, some vocabulary that I want you to pay attention to from this reading. This is the first one. Okay, I will, I'm going to ask, let's see, Rina. Rina, do us a May, can you please do me a favor? Can you read the first, the first word here or expression? Hi, teacher. Can you read the first one? Of the. Um, of the only read. Teacher. Of the only read, please. 
Well, no, me teacher, me no perdí, perdón. No problem. Go ahead. Only read here. Just read here. Of the... Of the, of the video pet meaning in on the insulated place of the world, of the world, of the way, uh -huh. unfrequented to something unusual. Okay. It is Thank, you. Thank you so much. So this is an expression that I want you to get familiar with because you might be um, asked this in your um, platform. So this is an expression that means in or into an isolated place, out of the way, unfrequented, or sometimes it means do something unusual, okay, of the beaten path. So now let's take a look at these examples. I want to ask a volunteer, let me see who wants to uh, participate. Uh, Milton, can you listen to us? Can you read example number one? We choose. Okay. Mm -hmm. We choose to, to go off the beaten path to offer something new, new and exciting for you to discover. Thank you so much. As you can see, uh, we are using the expression here. We only we are only adding go off the beaten path. Okay. Go so off. when you do something unusual, uh -huh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Milton. Uh, the the beating. Beating path. Yes. Beating path. Okay. So that's the expression. So when you want to say something like, like something that is not very common, you want you can use this expression. Teacher, teacher please. We have an interpreter. Uh -huh, somebody has to. Sí, sí, sí. Alguien tiene micrófono encendido, guys. Que no está hablando. There we go. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, thank, okay, you so thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it. Listen, this expression is used when we want to express, you know, <laughs> something like that is unusual. Okay. So let's think about one other way or one other sentence in which you use this expression, like go off the beaten path. I don't know who wants to help me. Think about one. You can take a look at the second one here. Uh, she found the greatest restaurants that are off the beaten path. It means in an isolated place. So how can we use it? Do you remember in the reading that we just had how it was used? Can you think of any other sentence using this expression? Answer your mind. What is in your mind? Come on. <laughs> nothing, nothing, says Gerardo. Something must, you know. So when you want to say like something or you do something unusual, out of the way, so, so how can you use it? That is the challenge. Go, go off, meaning eh, como salirse. Yeah, you deviate, exactly. You do something that others don't do, for example in order to do something else. So that is the expression. When do you travel in vacation is a place, a lake, a lake uh, is, is marvelous. Is, do, you, do you say is, is a meaning place, is a meaning lake? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And let's use the expression. Let's use the expression to, to complete the idea. As, as you can see here, I'm using. So I'm gonna give you this challenge. Go ahead, maybe at this moment, you cannot think about any other sentence, but then the challenge is how we can use this expression so it makes sense in a sentence. Look at the two examples, I got you here. And then you say, ah, so how can I use it in context? if I want to use it of the beaten path. So that's the first one. As of now, keep in mind, it's to do something unusual. So when you uh, go off the beaten path, it means that you don't do exactly 
like others do. You do something different. You get out of the way. It's like you are not from, you know, you, you basically, you isolate yourself from a group. So that means when, the, when you go off the beaten path, that's, that's expression number one. And so maybe you want to write the ideas down. That's, that's number one. Now, maybe, maybe meeting uh, uh, to, be, to be something different. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can be used like that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, for example, to be someone different, for example. The usually, the usually is, is I, I go to work. Okay. Oh. And, and, uh, and something different. Uh -huh. uh, I go to the travel. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Exactly, but this is the challenge. I know, I know you're, you're explaining to me what it means and you are right. And how we can use this expression in a sentence, in context. Look at the two, the two examples. We choose to go the beaten path to offer something new, blah, blah, blah. She found the greatest restaurants that are off the beaten path. So that is what I want you to think about, how we can use this expression in a sentence. We're gonna leave it like this. Maybe you can try to see how you can use it in context and then you share it with me tomorrow, okay? But I want you to use this expression in a sentence, in context, okay? Let's take a look at the second one. The verb is found. The second one or the past is founded and the past participle is founded. What does it mean? Let's see, Miguel, read the meaning of found, please. Vocabulary to found, founded, founded. Meaning to bring some something into existence, to start a new business, organization, etc. Example, Boston was founded in 1630 by Puritan colonies from England. Two, the airline was founded 25 years ago. Okay, 25 years ago. Thank you so much. Now, let's use the verb found or founded in a sentence. Give me an example. This is easier. Think about one example, one sentence using found. What comes to your mind? El Salvador was founded in uh, 99, for example, by Matias Delgado. Okay? Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. The idea is to use it in a, in a sentence, in context. Good, good example. Give me more ideas, more ideas. Think about your own, you know, sentence. What comes to your mind? The church, church, I don't know how to yeah, say church. The church was founded in what, 1990? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's another example. Any one more, please? The Chivo Wallet was founded uh, three, three months ago. Okay, I like it. That's more real, right? More real. Thank you so much. Next one, stunning. This is on the text. What is it? What it means? What's the meaning? Nubia, please read the meaning of stunning. Okay, vocabulary. Stunning, meaning extremely beautiful or attractive. Samples, a stunning breeze, a stunning view. Great. So stunning means something extremely beautiful or attractive. Now let's use stunning to describe something in a sentence. What comes to your mind? Stunning. Uh, stunning European. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what other things comes to your mind? More ideas, guys. More ideas. She looks stunning tonight. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Any other example? The new car. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, is uh, is a use extremely beautiful or attractive the new car? <laughs> okay, or we can say uh, she has a stunning new car, maybe, or she has a stunning car, which means extremely beautiful or attractive. Okay, I'm remember my PlayStation Five. <laughs> I have a I have a stunning PlayStation at home. Uh huh. She is good in, in a people. She is stunning. Stunning. Uh, a woman. Stunning woman. I would suggest using uh using like something to describe her. Okay. Maybe think about a, a an item that she is using. Okay, because actually stunning itself means extremely beautiful. You can say that, even though I would suggest using with items, you know, she is using maybe like the example <laughs> here, she is wearing an stunning, a stunning dress or outfit and you can okay. you know, complete, com complete. Yeah, it means that she is really gorgeous. <laughs> All right, this is our uh, word number three or expression. Let's see, what about number four? This is on the reading as well. So anybody, please, maybe, uh, let's see, who wants to, any volunteer or big team? Blanca Molina. I hear a background noise again, please. Blanca? Yes. Yeah, help us read, please. Oh my God. Com complimentary. Uh -huh. Means three, Phrasing of expression and mean admiration for someone. For example, if tickets, books, etc., are complementary, they are give, given free, especially by a business. Exactly. Exactly. Is a gift? A it's, little gift? I would say it's not a gift. Is this, this is just a word that describes something that is, is given for free. So a synonym of, com, of complimentary is free, nothing to pay. If you remember- Maybe, uh, maybe the products when 20% uh, when complimentary for the product. Okay, yeah, if, if it is at no charge, you can use the word. Yes. If, okay, yes. If it is at no charge, you can definitely use the word and it will make sense. Complimentary means uh, that you won't pay anything additional. It's just for free in this scenario, okay? So as you remember, when we read in the, about the chocolates, it says something about this word. So this is based basically in the reading we just had. Okay, and we have one more, I think. Let's see. How about this one? I think somebody asked. Ui. What is the meaning of this? Meaning soft oh. and sticky. Example. What does that mean? Sticky. <laughs> sticky. It comes from the word a sticker. <laughs> ah, okay. So something that if you like put it on the wall, it sticks there. Sticks. You know, you can't move it. You can remove it. it sticks. You know, soft and sticky. Uh, for example, a good cake, okay, it means soft, okay, so I think that's the last word we have here, and uh, you guys are going to complete these, these um, exercise on the platform, you will find these words, okay, and I want you to have clear, or, or at least an idea, oh, there's one more that we haven't checked, uh, this is the one, I'm going to ask Brice, can you help us read this one? The last word. Hola. Is Chris? Sorry, I'm trying. Meaning of or from a long time ago, having lasted for a very long time. Example, unsigned civilizations, rise, Laws, ancient monuments, rings, and woodlands. The ancient kingdoms of Mexico. People have lived in this valley since ancient time. 
exactly since ancient times so this is something really really old okay from long time basically ancient ancient so you guys are going to find this vocabulary on the platform and i wanted you to have an idea in how you know, we can use it so please access to the platform guys and you will find these there and i want to share it with you so you can go ahead and, and complete this okay give me a second and let me see i'm going to share the screen so you can see it where is it teacher snowboarding is a deport yes uh sport sport yes 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 yes. Okay. yes yes correct look at this one uh, i think it's just loading <laughs> Okay, so when you access to the platform, guys, you see, it, and in this, thing, you will find this vocabulary, okay, it's just right there. And then you are going to complete all these exercises, okay? And I, the words that I just explained or try to explain are the ones you're going to find here. So you can complete this exercise easy, easily, okay? So just go ahead and complete it, you know, when we finish the class and see how you do, okay? Do you have any questions before I continue? No? What's your question then? What is, uh, we're going to change topic, okay? What is the past continuous? What is it? Do you know, what do you know about past continuous? Any idea? Uh, yes. Uh... Past continuous using for an action in progress in the past. Give you a like. That's <laughs> correct. And what about what about the structure? What's the formula? The sentence, teacher. Huh? Okay. One sentence. Give me a sentence then. Was um verb um, um verb for plus ing I think. Interesting. Now I now that I know you know this. Give me examples, please. Give me examples. Yeah, please go ahead. I worked in text to feel five years old. Oh, okay. So as you, I can see, Miguel is saying, I worked in Texutil, I think, five years ago. So that would be past, that would be simple past. Because if you say, I worked, the action is already completed, right? But then uh, what they're saying is that the action is in progress, but it's in the past, right? It was in the past, it was in progress at the moment somebody was speaking so can you give me a, any other example can you try to picture the structure and give me an example i was staying in my house the the last sun uh, saturday i was staying at home last saturday mm -hmm. yeah i like i was staying at home mm -hmm. Last Saturday, maybe not, because last Saturday is an expression mostly used with simple past, like action that is already finished, okay? But the structure I was saying at home, that is correct. That is past continuous. Can you give me other ideas, guys? Other ideas? Please? Mm -hmm. I, Where are you going? I, I was working uh, in my house when the knock the door. Mm -hmm. I like it. Now you are giving me more information. You're telling me I was working in my house when? Uh, when knock, some, uh huh. Uh, when, when the put the ring on my door. Okay. Okay. Yeah. When somebody you say put or knocked the door. Knock the door. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That's correct. I like that example. And I want to start from that one. I was working at home when somebody knocked the That's door. Good. Exactly. So we have two actions here. We have we have I was working, which is our past continuous, and we also have 
uh, somebody knocked the door, right? So we have two actions, one that it is past continuous and one that it is uh, the simple past. Now, that is the topic that we are going to be reviewing today. And I don't know if you have already watched the video, but if you haven't, I want to play just a few to um, explain something based on this video. Just give me one second and let's see. Hopefully it's going to play this time. Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. Okay, um, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, thank you. As you can see here, we have this timeline, guys. And, but I hear some, some interference. I don't know if you guys can, can listen to me very well. So we have here, we have this timeline and it says, the example says, I was reading a book when you came. What is our, guys, I hear an interference, I'm sorry. see okay so when it says i was reading a book when you came we have two tenses here i was reading a book which is our past continuous and then we have uh, when you came which is the simple past so two ideas here number one the past continuous is used with was or it can be used where depending on the subject plus the verb in ing and the simple past is only the verb, but it is in the, in, the, in the past tense. For example, this one came, the present is come, the past is came, that's it. We don't use anything else, only the verb. Now, based on this example, can you think of, about other sentences following the same structure? You can open your mic and, and, and you know, say, say, um, say them to the, to us, or maybe go ahead and use the chat and send me your examples, please. The same example, same way, as you can see. I was cooking my dinner when you called. I like that one. Oh, my exactly. I was cooking my dinner when you called or when you phoned me. So one action interrupted the other one. And is, most of the time, the activity that interrupts is the shorter one, and this is the simple past, okay? Give me more examples. Use other subjects, not I, please. Other examples, please. My children was study in online, mm -hmm. English, mm -hmm. but uh, COVID, uh, the situation uh, uh, interruption mm -hmm. the study I can see so my children my children is a plural subject and that would be my children my is my children oh only one oh okay yes. my, chi my child my, my child, child my child my child was and the verb is my child was study. We need to write the verb in ing form, remember? So, studying. studying. Exactly, exactly. So, my child was studying, and then you complete the idea. Okay, there we go. Good, good yes. one. Any other example, please? Open your mic, class. We are like many people connected. I want to hear at least one example from each, each one. I was, I was playing basketball when you slipped. Okay, good one. When you slipped and then you, you fell down. Good. More examples, please. Go ahead. Use other subjects. She, they, we, uh, Rocio, Blanca, Alfredo, Maritza, blah, blah, blah. You just go ahead and use other examples, other subjects. She was running, mm -hmm. and when you eat. <laughs> okay, she was running when you eat. What is the past of this verb, eat? What is the past? Eight. Eight, exactly. Eight. She okay. was running when you ate. Okay, yeah, it, it, 
the structure it's fine but then if the logical... that is <laughs> no but if that is what you want to say Sarcasm. it's fine you know Sarcasm. <laughs> no look at this one look at this one uh you were running you were running when i ate makes sense so that will depend on what you want to say the contains the context the context exactly the context Exactly, and also what you want to convey, what you want to transmit. If that is what you want to say, fine, okay? But then I imagine the scenario, because you just said it, right? And it's like, okay, running and then eight, that's why. Uh, so what other ideas can you share with me? Other ideas? I was travel in my war in bus, mm -hmm. but... Uh, I, um, I have an uh, accident. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I was traveling. I was traveling Travel. by bus when by I bus. had when I had an accident. I like it. So I was traveling by bus when I had an accident. That's a really good one. Any okay. other example? Any other example? I was I was walking when I saw a, a car accident. I like it. I was walking by the sidewalk when I saw a car accident. Exactly. I like it. So what is the question we, we make to, to gather this information? What is a general question we can ask? What? What if we make your sentences? We, uh huh. What I'm sorry. What we when where? Who? Okay. Can we create one question using um like what and then the past continues? So for example, what were you doing yesterday at seven p.m. For example. So if I ask you that question, what can you what can you tell me? What were you doing yesterday at 7 p.m.? Let's try to remember. Any uh, any answer? I sleep. I was in my sleeping. house. I was sleeping. Uh, I was sleeping at home. I was I was cooking. Okay, I was cooking. Okay, if I ask you, what was your best friend doing yesterday at noon? What can you tell me? What was he or she doing at noon? Are you doing uh, yesterday at um, at nine a.m. At nine a.m. Okay, in the morning. Okay, great, guys. I this is a timeline. To watch Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, "I want to," and so play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay there in the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Okay, take a look at this. We don't have much time. We only have five minutes. But please, guys, go ahead and watch this video and try your ideas. Okay, look at this one. The past <laughs> continuous is for an action in progress. Okay, in progress. It means that it's happening. Okay, the simple past is a complete completed action it's done it's over it remains in the past okay that is simple past we have the two uh tenses here here we have i was watching a movie but i fell asleep before the end we are making this oh. comparison what about the next one i was working at a boring job when someone offered me a, a much better one so we are making this contrast or comparison, okay? And the last one, while I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store, okay? So basically, this is the topic or the tenses that we are studying today. 
And I want you to watch the entire video because tomorrow we are going to start checking on the formula, how we make negatives, how we make questions, okay? And also, when do we use while? When do we use when? Because there is a tip that you have to write it down. It's on the video. Do we use while with uh, past continuous or do we use while with simple past? Okay, what do we use? So that will be, you know, for tomorrow. And before we finish the class, I want you to create at least one or two examples like this ones on the screen. Okay. Okay. Give me more ideas, more examples, please. Give me more examples. One more before we before we go. So more examples, maybe like this ones. Now everybody's. I don't know what I. Heard. Past continuous or simply past, teacher. Both, please. Like these examples. Okay. Mix them up, please. Think about it, please. Go ahead. I was working at uh, a Saturday. Hmm? And I, I worked yesterday. Okay. I like that one. I was working on Saturday and I worked yesterday. Okay. Something that I want to mention and thank you for your ideas. Something that I want to mention guys is that if you can double check the pronunciation for regular verse in the past, like this one, this one, this are regular, a regular verb, it is the one that ends with ed and is already past or past participle. How we pronounce the ed, if you can uh, double check that, I might uh, explain this tomorrow as well. So we don't say walk it, so we don't say offer it. So, so we don't say that, there's a way how to pronounce it. So we say offered, walked, worked. So how do we know what to and what to say or how to pronounce it? So that's the challenge, okay? So tomorrow I'm going to ask you, hey, how sure. do we... Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. And feel very irregular, irregular bird. Regulars. Fail. No, fail is irregular, yes, because... Irregular. This is irregular because it changes. Fall, fail, fallen, that's irregular, yes. But then... Okay, thank the you. One... Thank you for asking. But then the ones that only are added ED, those are considered regular. The, my, my question is, how do we pronounce the ED? If you can investigate that for tomorrow and you can tell me when we pronounce uh, T or ED or ED, like D sounds, so that'll be great. So that's gonna be for tomorrow. Please uh, don't miss this session. It's gonna be very cool. And we're going to learn that. If you already know this, much better. You can also contribute to the class. So thank you so much for joining in class. And uh, if, he, if it is possible and God permits us, we see each other tomorrow. Have a nice Be night. sure. Yes, Be go sure. ahead. Yes. <laughs> um, a sleep and different sleep. This is, this is just, right. this is not a verb in this context. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because this is uh, it can be an adjective here, fell asleep, asleep, because this is uh, not sleep. Sleep is the verb, but this is okay. asleep, right? This is an adjective in this context. It's an adjective. I fell asleep, mm -hmm. like uh, me quedé dormido. <laughs> okay. Teacher. Uh, so, yes. Teacher. Uh, other other example in similar, um, asleep, sleep. Another example with a sleep, similar. Yes. Do you want yes. to? Do you want to know other word for a sleep? You can. Uh, well, if the question is how we can say this idea in a different way, I would say I was watching a movie, but I slept, <laughs> like I slept, only I slept. I would say instead of saying I fell asleep, I can say slept, which is the past of sleep. But I can use the verb slept like this. I'm trying okay. to find. I can say that, yeah. But I slept before the end. 
Because okay, I thank you, teacher. <laughs> All right, thank so thank you for asking. So guys, finish watching this video, leave some time. I know you guys are busy, you got many things to do, but then leave some time for you to continue watching this video and we'll talk about this tomorrow, okay? Please complete all the exercises that we have on the platform for you. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask on the chat or you have your questions ready for tomorrow's session, okay? Have a nice night and uh, enjoy your rest of the day. It's already late. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.